Hey, hey, it's me, AG Lover One Two Three Four Forever, and I'm doing a fixing doll video. My doll Melanie is from the year 2009. She's best friend to Krissa, but I renamed her Melanie because I had no idea she was Gwen. Plus, I did do a vote on Google Plus to see which name was more popular, Gwen or Melanie, and Melanie Paris won. So. That's her name. But um, I'm doing a remodeling video because, I don't know, her hair's really frizzy, her skin's really dirty, and, you know, she just needs remodeling big time. But this is the outfit she'll wear once I'm done. It's a handmade outfit, which I really love. So um, I'm going to take off her shoes. She's just wearing these masking tape ones. And they're really, really, really cute. I love them. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. I know that sounded really weird, but um, I made this dress last night and I thought I was going to use it for Christmas, but I said to myself, because um, she doesn't have any many new dresses, I'll make her this one. This is an underlayer because, as you know, American girl butts are really easy to see. I mean, Look how shapey they can be. They look very shapey. And that underlay just smooths it out a bit. And, you know. And I used a bobby pin just to hold a necklace in place. She was just wearing one of my silver necklaces I just happened to have. And um, I'm just going to undo the neck. Urgh, I can't undo the neck. There we go. So... I tied it with um, a bit of a knot, only because it looked really cute from the back. And I just need to pull it off. So, now I've undressed her, you can see what I mean by Melanie's skin. You might not be able to see that while on camera, but I don't know if you could, but she's really dirty in her hair, just look how frizzy it is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all of these hair bubbles in her hair. The re I I don't know if you guys have seen many videos where Melanie's hair is actually out. She has actually really long hair but uh, you know until then I'm going to do that. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay I'm back. Sorry about that. Um. So look how messy this hair is. It's just like what's going on here. So I'm going to just get around the tripod so I can um, get more into focus. So, ah, uh, my finger, I'll just trap my finger in my tripod. Right. So, I'm going to stand my knee up. She has pretty tight limbs. I would do like um, a limb video, but I don't. I want this video to be long but kind of short. So. I'm going to use my Trist spray bottle. It's normally for windows, but I only realised that after I bought it. It just said spray bottle, so I was like, okay. But it works wonders on my doll. Oops. Hopefully this will stop her hair from getting really dry. Because as you can see, I've literally just wet her back. So I'm just going to slide something on. Just so her back doesn't get too wet. See, it's already got a bit wet. Just going to put this on her so she doesn't get wet. Well, her back at least. Going to no, no, no. It doesn't matter about the front really because I'm not doing her bangs, but okay. I'm just going to turn in the light on just so we have a bit more light in the room. There we go, we have some more light. So. Yeah. Okay, so I just need to grab a comb. Yeah, I've lost all my combs somehow. I normally have tons of them, but um, I'm going to use my American Girl Doll comb. It's not really an American Girl Doll comb, it's one that looks very similar. I got it from a wig place and they sell wigs. And they also sold these combs. So I was like, why don't I get one? So that's what I did. I got I got one 
And then I have a spare one just in case because I've lost this one. But then when I moved my trunk to be able to put um, the stall room, it was behind my trunk. So I found it and I'm so happy. This is just getting out most of the tassels because um, I've done some pink hills on Melanie for some I can't remember why I've done pink hills on her. But I've done pink hills on her hair and it hasn't really helped with the fact that her hair is really frizzy. I'm just like, can we get out? It would really help if I had like a stand or something but I don't have a stand. I'm still getting one for Christmas. With my own money if I can. So. so what I am going to do is I'm just going to put four braids into her hair. And I'm going to wet it again and leave it in for about an hour. And then I'll come back and show you why I left it for an hour and what has happened to the hair. And while that's doing, I'm going to upload a video. So you guys aren't bored. See, I love you guys so much that I go through this kind of trouble. No, it is true. I do love you guys. So supportive. Okay, and let's hopefully for Christmas get 50 followers on YouTube. Okay, I mean, I've been I've been waiting so long just to get a certain amount of followers. It's killing me. Do your part, guys, and follow. Hit that hit that subscribe button, please. It's it's just taking so long. I've been on about 44 followers. It says 43 on my profile, but somebody didn't show it publicly. So I'm I'm not to um not invade their privacy. I'm not going to tell you who that is, but somebody didn't show it publicly. So, um, yeah, it's coming out now. The reason why I'm showing you braiding is because I want to show you how to braid correctly. You probably think, well, I already know how to. Some people don't. I used to think braiding was two bits of hair. And I used to be so proud of myself when I'd done a braid on my dolly's hair. On my Barbie. I used to collect Barbies. I used to have tons of them. But I don't collect them anymore. Because my dad chucks them all out. Chucks them all out without me even knowing. And then I didn't have dolls for a couple of years. And then I got like a 20 inch doll. That was a Sally doll. I didn't play with her. And then I got my American Girl dolls. So you should get the idea and I will be back in about an hour, well an hour and five minutes because I have to finish braiding off their hair. And what I am going to do after this is I'm going to um, spray it one more time and then I'm going to leave her hair for about an hour, come back and then see how her hair's actually done. It'll be an hour for me, maybe longer, but for you it'll be very quick you lucky so and so <laughs> I'll see you in an hour see you then bye hey everyone I'm back and um I'm going to show you what you now need to do and what I'm going to do because um I don't want to ruin my doll's hair I'm not cutting out the split only because I don't want to ruin her hair but what I am going to do is I'm going to pull the hair. This gets it longer and tighter. And what you do want to do is you want to twist it and then pull. See how that's got out some split ends? I twizzled and then I pulled and then it gets out a few split ends. So I'm just going to do that. But what I am also going to do is I'm just going to comb out the um, kind of like ends. And it's got out actually some of the split ends, I'm really proud of that. So I'm going to take out all of these hair ties. Got about four in here. Yeah, four. Four. And let me just sit in a comfortable position where I can do the video and um, do everything. And 
and just want to open it like that. This has made her hair into lovely silky sections. Again, and do that. And I'm just opening out the side of the ponytail. And I just want to comb out my doll's hair. So her hair has just been combed. See how it's um how her hair is different. I don't know. You would have to probably go back and see. But it's made an absolute wonder. Because one, it's not so frizzy because um it's been combed out. And her hair looks more vibrant. So to keep the hair out of the way while I'm cleaning up her limbs, I'm going to tie her hair in a ponytail. This is just to um, stop her getting away. Oops, had turned around. Right. So you better look at my carpet. Just one more carpet in the video. Okay, so now makeup. The doll's makeup is running low, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to. Um, I'm not adding on actual makeup. What I'm doing, sorry if you can't hear me because I'm kind of far away. Um, I'm using a bit of cream. This is just like normal, um, just normal cream. I don't know what you might use it for. It's just some normal cream, and I'm putting it. On my doll's face. This just gives it a bit of its natural shine back. You put it all over as long as you think you can get out the teeth. If you don't think you can, don't do it without parent permission or parent help because I can indeed show you how to um, get it out. So I'm just putting it all over her face. This gives it a bit of its natural shine back. Just putting it on my hands as well. <laughs> okay. And then what I'm going to do after I've finished, um, I'm going to use bits of my material. This is just the material I used to make Mal's dress that she was wearing at the beginning. And I'm just going to spread it up. See how I'm doing that? I'm just spreading it up. The reason why I don't spread it all around is because it is noticeable. I've done this in the school holidays with my other dolls. I'm just pulling it out. And how to get rid of it in between teeth is get your spray hair bottle. Make sure it has no chemicals in case you, I don't know what you put in dolls hair. And I want to spray it in between her teeth, making sure it don't go in the eyes. Because if it goes in the eyes, you know, you need to be careful. That's why I need to spray it really close to the mouth. There we go. Okay, now I've done that, I'm just going to clean out her face. And if you can see that's coming out of the teeth. Okay, it might also give the teeth a bit of a shine. Okay. And then any access, I'm just going to do it closer to me so I can actually see what I'm doing. Then I'll show you what it looks like after. It's made her skin look really shiny. And that's what most dolls are lacking. It makes their skin look really dirty. And on my material, it's going to pitch black in some bits. It just shows how dirty she really was. Clean in between the corners. And she's all done. Let me just um, comb out her bangs because the bangs are a tiny bit messy, but um, they can be sorted. So her face now looks really clean. 
I don't know if you can tell, you probably can because it's really bright. Her face looks so much cleaner. So now I can take her hair out of the ponytail. And I'm just going to do a basic hair style on her. Just to show her hair, but also just to show the modernness of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a small section out of each side of her hair. Small section. And I'm going to bring it into the centre like that. I'm going to grab a hair tie. I don't know the real thing that you can call this hairstyle. I call it the centre ponytail. Gosh, I can't do it. I'm shaking. I can't do it. There we go. Let me just do it off camera. And then I'll just tie a ponytail in the centre of her hair. So it looks like that. As you can notice, her hair's gone a bit frizzy again. That's only because I've just done a ponytail. I'm just combing out the hair again. And I'm just going to show you, it's going to look much better. Just combing out the top hair. Her bangs are just getting in the way of it. Okay. So, I'm going to get her dressed and then I'll show you what she looks like after. Altogether, she looks fantastic. I gave her a 90s chick look. The reason why this is a 90s chick look is because the trousers are low with a pair of flats. The top is white and it also has cut out sides to give it a kind of a chick look. Her hairstyle is playful, very cute and stylish. And her top is netty. High waisted trousers gives it that builders girl girly tomboy look. And the fact that her bangs are kind of parted also gives it that kind of effect. Thank you for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. And this is Mel Anise OOTD. She looks very cute. Thank you all for watching this video and I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to do a fixing my doll's skin and hair, on any of the doll, Annie, Laurie, Kit, Lainey, please just ask me and I'll do it. I'm on Google Plus and YouTube. Please check out my Google Plus channel, same as my YouTube, AG Lover, one, two, three, four, forever. And my YouTube channel, just please check it out. Please like and subscribe and thank you all very much for watching. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye.